there's obviously a big issue here. There's a big issue. Men. Men, glorious men. It's raining men. And they're landing on Tucker Carlson. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Hello. Um, <laughs> men in America. Now, full disclosure. I work out three times a week, about an hour a day on those days. I do little intermittent exercises in between. Uh, body weight exercises and some small hand weights I have at the house. I have a, uh, a BOSU. Like those half spheres that I do sit-ups on, okay? Oftentimes, when I am gaming, when I have the opportunity to do said things, I will often do, like, in between rounds, which there's usually a minute and a half or something, if you're playing Call of Duty, you will know. Between games, if you're playing online against other people to get reset into the next one, you got some time between. So I do one of two things. I clean or exercise. I do push-ups or sit-ups. Or I clean something. Now, my kid, by the way, I have trained to do that as well. And when he is playing video games one, during the time of the day that I allow him to play games, in between games, in between rounds of the games, you exercise. You get up and you do some push-ups or something to keep yourself physically engaged so you don't become a lump. It's not hard. It's normal. It's a, it's a good addition to it. I'm just saying. Yes, I do have a uh, shake weight. Also, um, <laughs> yes. Um, so this is, you know, I, I'm I'm guessing. Um, and I'm doing okay. 52 years old. I'm not trying to be, you know, bulky or anything. But we're all kind of going for that, you know, borderline fight club physique. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little squat for that. I'm a little, you know, I'm 5'9", so I'm a little stockier than that it'd be nice to have a longer torso but what are you gonna do you, you work with what you got the good part is is where i don't have that long brad pitt you know torso situation um i do have wings i do have like that thing's easier for me to get so i can rambo out if i want to if i really apply myself at the gym i can get kind of that like how do we handle it john Day by day. You know what I mean? I can do that. I can actually wing it out a little bit, which is good. So, you know, the Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. I got a fairly decent taper going on. I'm proud of it. Some good shoulders, you know, cresting right now. Not too much. I need a little bit more for what I want on this side, you know, and here. I like a little, you know, and that that's a little harder because you got to use lighter weights. It's a, you know, this the shoulder cuff is a very delicate series of muscles and it's a complicated joint. You don't want to just gack up giant weights on that are you out of your fucking mind you know you want to treat your body with some iron and, and with uh, with some honor in this process and then you know give it some iron in the process right so so uh, there you go yes torn rotator cuff is no fucking fun right so body maintenance health taking care of yourself very important and you should have your own vision of what your body should look like and you should work towards it it's nobody else's fucking business i don't chase some sort of bizarre like uh externalized uh aesthetic i want my body to look like what i want my body to look like fuck everybody else if it fits into some sort of mold that i went when i was growing up I was like that's that's exemplary for a male physique for me that's what i'm gonna try and work towards will i get there probably fucking not but will I stay within, you know, swing and distance? Of course. And of course, he's disgusted by this entire area. Now, understand that this is a gentleman who only has shoulders because he's wearing a suit jacket. And he's about to tell you the trouble that men are in. Something about lower testosterone or some bullshit. And how the left, uh, of which I am absolutely certain, I am scooped into that version of humanity uh, for them as a pejorative anyways that over the course of you know this whatever this diatribe is going to be um yes he has padded shoulders there is no question there that is a that is what that is right there that is extra stuffing in there so that he doesn't have droopy shoulders so his body 
Doesn't look like this. He wears, it's the, it's, it's sort of like the fake tits of a suit. You know what I mean? It gives you the illusion, right? So while we're discussing, um, you know, Tucker's issue of what makes a man a man, a man, I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a man, 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 I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a man. That's the best part of uh, Orgasmo, by the way, is the, the man song. Yes, a couple of swans. Yeah, he's got frozen swans and chicken breasts stuffed in either side. Yeah, so anyways, this is, yeah, do weasels have shoulders? It's an excellent point. I don't think so. So uh, let's let's see what his big concern is. and this is this is him uh, sh Senator Hawley men are in crisis um, and uh, by the way from this point on Josh Hawley will be referred to as Gorsh Hawley um, so just get used to the idea Gorsh oh um, largely because he has the physique of Goofy. Oh, hold on. Wait. Am I hearing? Oh, that's right. Hold on. I, I've audio turned off over here. Okay. <laughs> here we go. It continues to pace like it's 1973. The numbers are really clear. It's men in this country who are in deep trouble by every measure. By every measure. By how often uh, he gets to the gym. By how uh, his haircut um, would make. Rachel Maddow go, bro, bro, <laughs> all measure. Yes, all measures. A couple years ago, we did a series called Men in America, which... And you learned nothing, apparently. Explained exactly how men are falling behind in this country. We found that... It's not toxic to embrace masculinity. Well, then why not do it, Tucker? Seriously. What do you do? Do they make you balance out having Bongino? Important at the time, it's even more important. Now the numbers are even worse. Finally, a member of Congress noticed this and spoke to it forcefully. That was Senator Josh Hawley. He Excuse me, it's pronounced Garsh Hawley. For the National Conservatism Conference, and he pointed out something obvious, that masculinity is under attack in this country and men... Uh, no, 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 actually it is not. Um, tonic masculinity, the kind that I like to express, is having zero fucking problems right now. Um, asshole broing out roid rage dickheadness like is displayed by Dan Bongino has always been out and always been embarrassing. Are withering and dying as a result of it. That's not an overstatement. Anybody familiar with the social science can confirm that. So over- Yeah, I hear some dudes are growing their hair long. Like Jesus. And what could be more femme than that? SNBC, of course, they found this deeply offensive. They compared Josh Hawley, of course, to Vladimir Putin. Josh Hawley, with his trademark laser-like precision, has honed in on the real front burner issue in America, masculinity in this country. I am certainly not shocked that he said something this wacky, because he said stuff like this before. It's a couple of dashes of political extremism from a very, very cynical, Stanford-educated United States senator. It's a dollop of the type of rhetoric that you may hear in Vladimir Putin's Russia that you may hear in Viktor Orban's Hungary, a... Yeah, except, in all due respect, Steve, and we, we love you, but in Vladimir Putin's Russia, at least Putin is kind of being a douchebag when he says it. At least he has the decency to be a macho douchebag. You know what I mean? Because if you're on a horse with your shirt off, you're going, men should be men. If they're not men, then they are women, and women are for the womening. Right? At least, at least he's doing the extra work. Not dressing like he's running for student president um, and the only qualification at his school for being um, student president is never doing a pull-up. <laughs> ...of these masculine notions, right? This is why you see Putin posing with tigers with his shirt off. Yes, that's why. In contrast, 
At some point, we're going to take a closer forensic look at the personal lives of the three people you just saw on the screen. A lot of happy, well-balanced relationships, do you think? Probably not. I'm sorry. Um, who was the girl you were having dinner with Matt Gates with who he thought was your wife and it fucking wasn't? Sorry. How old was the girl that Matt Gates was with? You fucking douche. You want to... Uh, Let's let's talk about relations. You wanna you wanna crack that fucking nut? Seriously, dude who would never get laid if he wasn't a Swanson heir. Holly, by contrast, is the senator from Missouri about whom they were complaining. He joins us. Gosh, literally, Holly. You make you make it look like. Tucker Carlson has broad shoulders, but please tell us, by the way, I'm playing around with male stereotypes because this is what they are talking about. Calm yourselves. Fear not. If, it, if you want to have any idea, um, let me, uh, if you, if you'd like, um, let me, let me show you what I grew up with as one of my primary, um, uh, examples of masculinity just like my whole fucking life just for the record um give me a second i want to find a an excellent picture yeah here you go um there you go yeah just in case you want to throw that like you have a narrow view of what masculinity can be get fucked my spectrum on what masculinity, genuine masculinity can contain within it is far wider than any Zoomer narrified branding version of gender that's floating around right now. Yes, Paul does. It, it is. It's a package picture. <laughs> it clearly is. Yeah. See what I mean? Piss off. Piss off with your idea. Yeah. Robert Plant, 1971. Excellent idea. Don't tell me that I have a narrow view of what's allowable in men, okay? Just for the record. I think this is manly as shit. Prince, another example. Right. So, don't even talk to me about that bullshit. Meanwhile, these guys, these guys would be on television in 1978 telling us how this, how, how this was not only uh, gay and counterculture, but also satanic. So, <laughs> piss off. Senator, thanks so much for coming on. So you felt moved to defend masculinity, how come? Um, and, and you felt moved to do it only verbally and not in any physical way. Like, I don't know, going to the gym or, or uh, you know, and bulking up or... Or, I don't know, refusing to manscape. Or becoming a firefighter and lifting heavy shit. I don't know. Yeah. Well, because it's in crisis. Men are in crisis, Tucker, as you pointed out. I mean, listen, we've got at least 16 million men in this country who are out of the labor force. They're not just unemployed. They're not even trying to work. And I'm talking about able-bodied men, prime-age men. We have an epidemic of... Prime-aged. Hmm. Sounds delicious. What? Otherlessness in this country. And what's the left saying? The left saying that America is a systemically oppressive place and that men are to blame and that masculinity is to blame. You know, if you want. Well, no, no, no. I mean, I think obviously the Weinsteins and the Epsteins and the Cosbys and the Matt Lowers of the world are, are, are definitely a problem we have to deal with. But I, I honestly am not running aground as a man anywhere I go. No one is. No one is pushing back against my view of masculinity. Like what the problem is, and I, if I may, is that what, when I hear the word masculinity, I'm talking about the expression of a male to its healthiest and fullest extent. And when you say masculinity, you think that's just piggish behavior and being a douche. And you think, Attacks on pigs and douches is an attack on masculinity 
because that's the kind of shit you have in your ears. Be a man, if you are assertive, if, if you're independent, if you display those characteristics that psychologists have associated with men for decades, then you're contributing to the oppressive place that is America. I apologize. Dear God, will I ever be forgiven? I have exuded those traits in public often in my relationships and as a human being. What is there a is there some sort of Marxist church of femininity that I I have to go kneel in front of? Jesus Christ. That just isn't true. And it's time that we call that out. And it's time that we say to you. It so is. We have to call it out, Tucker. You and me, buddy. Men in particular, we need you. We need you to be responsible. We need you to get a job. And Where is the I need you, I want you poster? <laughs> you can make this country a better place by being who you were meant to be. And we should call men to that. God. Yeah, it's... It Unfortunately, you're on the wrong show for that. That's, I mean, I, I can't imagine why anyone would be anything but grateful to hear that. Why do you think that triggers the moron so much? The moron so much? Why would you think that triggers the moron so much? It doesn't. We think it's fucking hilarious that Josh Hawley is calling out the men of America for not being masculine. While... He he looks like Ichabod Crane at in, in his college picture. <laughs> the fuck, both of you. Well, because the left they they hate this country, but they also they don't. I'm, yeah, uh, Johnny says I'm a bi man with a job and seeking a job, so fuck him. Exactly. <laughs> like, and by the way, being bi is never within the package of what they would consider masculinity or being male it's not allowed it's got to be sliced out it's where the horseshoe overlap between the like the the like the transgender community and the and the right overlaps entirely <laughs> gender you know i mean they're, they're trying to do away with gender uh and they don't believe in manhood or womanhood i mean these are the same people who are trying to do away with women's sports let's not forget tucker right. so this is a war on gender all the way around and i think the idea uh, well i actually if you're coming to the defense of women Never mind. I'm going to withhold statement for a moment. Of having independent men and independent women for that matter, but lonely people is what you're looking for. By the way, his complaint, if you didn't hear it, was that men are uh, not going into the workforce and are staying home and fapping and playing video games. Hopefully not at the same time, because, uh, you know, sometimes you have to share controllers when you come over to somebody's house. And that would just be wrong. But his I. I Technically, isn't it an act of independence to say, fuck this noise? I'm not for it. But you can't argue that it's a form of independence. Independent men who would actually go to work and be responsible and contribute to their families and contribute to society. That would be codependent men. <laughs> Sorry, just kidding. The left finds that scary because those are not the kind of people who will just be told to fall in line by the government and do whatever the government says to do. And the left doesn't. Um, by the way, a lot of those fuckers, uh, the anti-vaxxers and like are staying home, not going to work and are fapping while playing video games. Are you out of your fucking mind? Want that. They don't believe in manhood at all. They think it's inherently oppressive. We've got to call. Well, no, no, no. They don't you, I think you've got something. They don't believe in your manhood because they've seen no convincing traits that it exists at all. You know, citation needed as the kids say on the interwebs today. I, I've honestly, the only people um, I've had question my manhood were bigots while I was doing Queer as Folk or in reference to it because they're so afraid that it would impact theirs, which is hilarious. And as a man, I don't care. Them out on these, on these falsehoods, and they are false, and we've got to call men to responsibility. For, for all of our sakes. Men and women need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For all of our sakes. I mean, who's going to open the door for me when the morons are holding it closed? What? Uh, don't they realize that men have a... You have the responsibility to be able to carry, uh, you know, your family members in an emergency over a great distance.
That's why I, I've worked so hard on expanding my shoulders with padding. Or if, if one group fails, everyone suffers. I mean, that's that's real. That's how we're made, exactly. unfortunately, maybe, but it's true. Senator Hall <laughs> unfortunately, maybe, but we're true. I see. <laughs> what the fuck? I appreciate your coming on tonight and for the for the truth that you're telling about that. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Sean. Han Thank you. That was a pretty for a couple of manly men. I got to say that was a pretty soft. Thank you. The for the truth that you're telling about that. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Sean. Han Thank you. Thank you. That for the, you know, for the truth that you're telling. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, no, thank you. I'm sorry. I wasn't... I wasn't gonna be not manly today. I told myself I would manly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was the whole thing of it, by the way. This is the, this is the dude who's gonna tell uh, everybody what what manliness is and his definition of it and that other men aren't living up to it um by the way um there was new information hold on let me see if i can find the picture of this new information related to garsh holly um let's see um there is a lot of people who believe that um, um, this was a sign that um, that Garsh Holly was in on it with the January 6th insurrectionists. And um, that is not the case. New evidence is coming out that someone in the crowd yelled, show us your fapping hand. And... Um, he he apparently is a big fan of the stranger so you know i don't want anybody to have any false information i'm sorry that was wrong um but uh i honestly luckily we have tucker carlson to straight i up. like wood just in case anybody was wondering deeper and longer but i'm glad yes fapping you know what fapping is I'm so glad to initiate some of you in a new word. It is based <laughs> is based on the uh, the idea if you repeat the first syllable of that, you get a sound <laughs> that is similar. Yes, like like slapping, but <laughs> right. <laughs> so that's congratulations. And now you can add that as an adjective when you're talking about our favorite right wingers who have uh, it, manly issues because they are faptastic. They are fapping morons. They're <laughs> they're they're uh, psychofapalicious. <laughs> Now you know. Someone yelled, show us your, your flapping hand. Your fapping hand, not your flapping hand. Your fapping hand, right. <laughs> In this process.